Welcome to Friendly AI. I'm your host, Michelangelo. Have you ever looked up at the stars in the night sky and wondered how many planets are orbiting those tiny specks of light? Me neither. I'm mostly thinking about the next time I'll be able to touch myself. With the vastness of space and from our perspective, it's mathematically impossible to calculate how many planets exist. Also, how many Google has purchased already. This is not the case for the upcoming No Man's Sky, the science fiction game that has its very own procedurally generated open world universe that'll make my goraphobia return with full force. According to lead developer of No Man's Sky, Sean Murray, there is up to 18 quintillion possible planets in the game. And here I was expecting five dollops at the very most. But wow, quintillion? I didn't even know that number existed, but to be fair, I'm still learning my ABCs and how lady parts work. Here's the actual number you couldn't pay me to read it out loud. Sean Murray explained the possible vastness of planets on the latest PlayStation blog. This is what he said. Even if a planet is discovered every second, it'll take 585 billion years to find them all. I think I can do it. He continued explaining and said this. The cool thing is that every planet has a single number, a random seed that defines everything about that planet. A single random seed generates every blade of grass, tree, flower, creature. So as the developer, I can note down the planet seed and then just go back there anytime I want. We demoed this at Gamescom, just jumping around the universe to different planets. There are no load times because nothing needs to load as the planets are entirely computer generated. It's very important to note that there's not actually 18 quintillion planets in No Man's Sky because theoretically a planet doesn't exist until someone discovers it. So get searching. Not now, when the game comes out, you silly bimbos. Also, I find it very interesting that there'll be no load times when you visit a new planet. Very exciting stuff for gaming. On the minus side, this will be the end of Pea Breaks. No Man's Sky will come out sometime next year. The PS4 and PC version have been confirmed. It'll be timed exclusive for the PS4 though. Do you think No Man's Sky is gonna take video games to the next level or make you smash your PC and sell your PS4 on eBay? Let me know in the comments section below. I'll leave a link to my sources down below. It really is the least I can do, really. Aloysius and I would like you to follow us on Twitter. If not, no big deal. I'll just pluck a feather out of Aloysius for your lack of participation. Please don't tell PETA. Pam Anderson is a leather face. On Twitter, I'll keep you up to date with gaming news and my videos. No mystery here, just a dude on Twitter. Thank you very much for watching, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It's a painless procedure, I promise. There is a tiny, tiny, small chance of diarrhea, though. If so, I apologize in advance. When I said that there was a small chance of diarrhea, what I meant to say is that there's 100% guarantee. Sorry for the confusion. Uh, next time, please pay attention. It is a painful procedure. I'm not gonna lie, I have a strawberry milkshake waiting for me and I can't wait to suck it.